Good morning, everybody. How are you all? Today we will work with this problem. <laughs> Says under ideal conditions, air pressure decreases continuously with height above the sea level at a rate proportional to the pressure at the height. So we can write solution. Okay, so we can write dp over dh change in pressure with respect to height is proportional k to the pressure at that level where k is a constant is proportionality constant lady constant so please do not quit because I will give you some important tips or hints at the end of this program. So divide by P on both sides and multiply by dh on both sides to get so we are dividing by p so we get dp over p and we are multiplying by dh on both sides is k times dh okay so integrate on both sides by create some space I get integration integration of dp over p is equal to k which is a constant integration of dh okay uh, now integration of 1 over p with respect to p dp you know it's ln of p natural logarithm of p and integration of dh uh, with respect, uh, you're integrating basically 1 with respect to H. So it is basically KH plus C, where C is an integration constant. Integration constant. Okay. Or <clears throat> you can write... Uh, Uh, using the definition of natural logarithm of natural ln, which is natural logarithm to base to the base e, which is the natural number. we get uh, P is equal to E to the power of KH plus C. Or P is equal to E to the power of KH multiplied by E to the power of C. Okay. So if I create some more space, now E to the power of C is a constant. Okay. E to the power of C e to the power of c is a constant which we can write as c1 hence p is equal to c1 times e to the power of kh <clears throat> now 
Let's change the color of the pen. From the given information. Please do not quit. I will give you some important tip at the end of this program. Uh, when H is equal to zero, P is equal to 30. Therefore, 30 is equal to C1 e to the power of k times 0. Or 30 is equal to C1 because e to the power of 0 is equal to 1. Okay. Thus, uh, so if I create some space, I can write thus P is equal to 30, 30 times e to the power of k h. Okay. Now we have also been given, also given at h is equal to 18,000 feet, P is equal to 15. Therefore, 15 is equal to 30 E, K, and for H, I'm going to write 18,000. Okay. So, dividing by 30 on both sides, by 30 on both sides, we get 15 divided by 30 is equal to e k to the power of 18,000. I mean k multiplied by 18,000. So now 15 goes into 30 two times and 15 goes into 15 itself one time. So one half is equal to e k to the power of 18, uh, multiplied by 18,000. Take natural logarithm of both sides. Logarithm of both sides. So we get ln of half is equal to ln of e to the power of k multiplied by 18,000. Okay, now we will use a property of logarithm. When we take a logarithm, the exponent actually becomes the uh, factors. So basically, ln of half is equal to k. So the exponents becomes multiplied as k times 18,000 and ln of e. Now, ln of e is logarithm of e with respect to e. So basically this is 1. Okay, this is 1. So we have uh, k times 18,000 is equal to ln of half. Divide both sides by 18,000. So k is equal to ln of half divided by 18,000. Okay. So, let's find out using our calculation, what is this value? So, ln, uh, my calculator, I press ln, half is 0. 0.5, so ln of 0. 0.5 divided by 18,000. is a very small number, minus negative sign, 0 0.0000385. That's the value of k. Okay. So <clears throat> finally, what do we get? Let's uh, take a look. So we have the equation for 
pressure, we have the P is equal to 30 E to the power of E is a natural number, K times H. We know the value of K, so we can write thus P as uh, thus P is equal to 30 because remember the first we found the value of C1 the initial constant was 30 E to the power of K H that is minus 0 0.0000385 times H. So we have been asked to find out uh, what is the pressure at 35,000 pressure. So if I will uh, create some space and change the color, okay, a little bit to make it a little interesting. So let's uh, use a color, which is we have used before. So this is the equation for P. Okay, maybe before I change the color, I should circle this this is the equation we have okay. so when h is equal to 35000 feet okay p is equal to 30 multiplied by e to the power of minus 0 0.4 zeros after the decimal, then 385 times 35,000. Okay. So let's calculate this using our calculator. P is equal to 30 times E. And we will multiply the two numbers in the exponent. One is minus point zero 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 three eight five times thirty five thousand, and that is equal to e to the power of minus one point three four seven seven eight. Okay. So P is equal to, now I'll use my calculator to find that uh, E, the natural number, raised to the power of negative 1.34778. So I, in my calculator, I press the second button, then LN gives me the E. Then I press the negative sign next to enter and 1.34778. And the answer is uh, 30 multiplied by 0 0.30 30 multiplied by 0 0.2498 and that will work out to multiply that by 30 answer is 7.79 so what does it mean it means that 35000 height 35000 feet the barometric reading will be 7.79 inches. So let me review with you what I just did. So first I wrote the equation as was given to me. The pressure changes with respect to height, continuously with height above the sea level at a rate proportional to pressure at that height. The pressure is decreasing dp over dh, derivative of pressure with respect to h or the change in pressure with respect to height is equal to k which is a proportionality constant multiplied by p as was given in the first sentence at a rate proportional to pressure at that height. So k times p. Now we did some integration. Before we did the integration we had to rearrange we have to divide by P and multiply by DH on both sides. So we get the equation DP over P is equal to K integration DH, which we integrate. So ln of P is equal to KH plus C. Then using the definition of natural logarithm, ln is raised uh, basically logarithm to the natural number, to the base natural number E. 
uh, we get P is equal to E to the power of K H plus C, which can be broken down as E K H natural number raised to the power of K H multiplied by natural number raised to the base raised to the power C. So E to the power of C is a constant, which we can refer to as C1. So the final equation P is equal to C1 multiplied by natural number raised to the power of K H. Now we need to solve for C1. How we can do that? Because we have been told when height is zero, pressure is 30. So we write 30 is equal to C. Uh, let me write this clearly a little bit. So this is a little bit. Uh, so this I can erase initially. Okay, so this is C1. And then uh, if I erase this a little bit. Okay, and this is E. So E natural number raised to the power of zero is one. So that means C1 is equal to 30. So the equation uh, for um, P then becomes P is equal to 30 times E K H exponent. So that is the equation we are going to work with. Okay. Okay, now we have to solve for K. How do we do that? Because we have been given another value at height 18,000 feet, what is the pressure? When we substitute that in or plug that in, we can solve for K. And uh, K is come out to be <laughs> ln of half divided by 18,000, which is a very small negative number. So this is the final equation. P is equal to 30 multiplied by the natural number exponented to negative minus very small number multiplied by H minus 0 0.0000385 times H. We have been required now to find out the pressure at 35,000 feet. So for H, we will substitute 35,000 feet, do the calculations with the calculator and pressure at 35,000 feet height will work out to 7.79 .7 feet. I will stop here today. If you do not understand any step, do not hesitate to write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you do not like this video, give me a thumbs down. I learn from my mistake and improve on the next video. If you like this video, share with your friends. You and your friends, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. And please do not forget to watch me tomorrow when I'll be back with another problem. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Take care.